Episode 6 begins with Hal telling Kate that Margaret Roylin hired Lenkov to shoot a British ship. But the idea wasn't Roylin's. It was orchestrated by Grace Pan. Hal adds that the president doesn't know about it. Kate realizes that she has to be vice president. The next morning, over breakfast, Kate tells Stuart she wants the vice presidency and urges him to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Stuart, eager to support her ambition, gets to work. Stuart shares the news of Kate's ambition with Edra, who is pleased, but reminds him that they're no longer together. When Stuart tries to rekindle things, Edra becomes frustrated, and a heated conversation ensues. Stuart accuses her of avoiding difficult discussions, but she asks him to stop, not wanting to lose her composure at work. Meanwhile, Trowbridge confides in Austin about his wife's suggestion that he should resign. Trowbridge had planned to approach Tom or Philippa to quietly investigate possible traitors within their ranks, but feels hesitant. Austin advises him to resign, though Trowbridge isn't quite ready to make a decision. Trowbridge meets another MP, but still can't speak about what happened. Austin tries to tell the MP, but Trowbridge stops him. He stresses that he's not dragging his feet, he just doesn't think it's the right time. Grace later informs Kate that Trowbridge contacted President Rayburn, praising her abilities. Months earlier, Rayburn and Trowbridge had discussed appointing a nuclear czar in each country, with Trowbridge suggesting Grace. President Rayburn agreed to consider it, and Trowbridge plans to highlight Grace's qualifications in his upcoming speech. In response, Hal and Kate ask Trowbridge to omit any mention of the nuclear czar during his address. Trowbridge complies, catching Grace off guard. Frustrated, she confronts Kate, asking why the nuclear czar role wasn't mentioned, and suspects Kate may be eyeing her position. Kate plays innocent, but Grace sees through her intentions. At Kate's request, Hal tells Grace they know Margaret Roylin wasn't behind the attack and are aware of who was. Grace leads Kate to a private room and lays out a strategic map. She explains that Russia's quickest route to breach their naval defenses is through the Arctic to the North Atlantic. She shows Kate Cregan, a Scottish nuclear submarine base vital to detecting Russian submarines before they reach the Atlantic. An independent Scotland would have closed this base, jeopardizing U.S. security. Grace admits her role in the decision but won't let it bring down the presidency. She tells Kate she remembers each of the four 43 victims of the ship bombing. She tells Kate that the whole world is her game board, but the UK is Kate's, so she should keep her eyes on her own paper. Kate thinks Grace should keep her job and shouldn't be punished, but Hal thinks they should call the Secretary of State Miguel Gannon and let him decide what happens next. Visiting Carol, Kate agrees with Hal, but decides he should make the call to preserve her own clean profile for a potential vice presidency. Kate and Grace go for a walk. Grace tells her that she intends to keep her job and asks Kate to stop chasing it. Kate promises her that she will keep her secret, but says that if the president asks her to serve, she'll answer yes. Hal heads to the embassy to make a secure call, but ends up contacting President Rayburn instead, revealing Grace's actions. Hal then calls Kate urgently to share shocking news. President Rayburn reacted severely to Hal's revelation and in his upset state suffered a fatal heart attack. Kate watches in shock as Secret Service agents rush in to protect Grace, who is now set to become president.